I'm honestly not sure how this works because on the way to Hong Kong, I had a hundred t-shirts in my suitcase. I no longer have a hundred t-shirts in my suitcase. I sold them all at SneakerCon and now I'm having trouble fitting everything into my suitcase. There's a hundred less t-shirts in my suitcase. How does that even work? How does that, how does that work? Uh, uh, so we are leaving Hong Kong today. Unfortunately, I'm very sad that we're leaving Hong Kong. I could have stayed here a few more days. It is a beautiful city, crazy place to visit. If you guys haven't been to Hong Kong and you ever get the opportunity to, do not pass it up. Head over to the city. I loved it. Okay, in all seriousness though, I am running a little bit late. We really need to get going. I'm gonna miss Hong Kong, but one thing I'm definitely not going to miss is the ridiculous humidity here. Like just being inside an air-conditioned building right now and being able to wear my champion hood is great. Like I, you, you don't understand how hot and humid it is here. It's ridiculous. That being said, guys, I do have a 15 hour, well, a 12 hour flight and then I'm stopping in Vienna and then I'm flying to London. I have a long way to go. I'm gonna try and get some sleep and I will see you guys in, in London. Now this isn't exactly where I wanted to meet you guys in London, we're on the plane already. It's literally like 24 hours since I've seen you last. What I was planning on doing is dropping off my bags at the airport at four in the morning. We were gonna go to Supreme, we were gonna camp out at Supreme, we were gonna cop some stuff at Supreme, it was gonna be my first ever Supreme camp out, my first ever Supreme purchase. I don't even own a single thing Supreme. Unfortunately, the airline I'm flying with has some silly policy that you're not allowed to check your bag until three hours prior to your flight. So I just had to sit around the airport for nine hours, which was, that was a great day. On the bright side, we found out something really, really crazy that I really want to talk to you guys about. That is LaMelo Ball released a $400 pair of shoes and the kid's only 16 years old. I find it absolutely crazy. So I know most people have probably talked about this by now, but I've been on a plane for the past 38 hours basically, so I haven't had a chance to talk to you guys about it. What do you think of them? I think they look hideous. They look really, really ugly. They're 400 US dollars, which is like 550. I hate airport announcement. The one thing I love about it is that a 16 year old kid that has never played in a basketball game other than a high school or EYBL basketball game has a signature shoe that you could buy and it's 400 freaking dollars. That being said though, after five flights and literally like almost two days, I have one more two hour flight and then I'm finally home. The first thing I'm doing 100% I'm getting a haircut. I'm starting to look like a homeless person. I just got back this morning. Oh, that feels good to get all that hair off my head, like a month without a haircut. Just not a very good look at that point. I'm happy to be home, happy to get the haircut. I had a shower, I'm feeling a lot better. We're actually over at Marshall's right now. I don't usually come here, but I was in the neighborhood and they sometimes do get some good stuff at this store. Like, I mean really good stuff. Like, I've bought a couple pairs of shoes from this place. Let's see what they have. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to take back my previous statements about them having good stuff in here. Um, they have whatever these are. These are $50, so not a good price. These are $60, even less of a good price. They have these random Reeboks for $60. They really don't have anything good in here. Oh, scratch that, we found something. Actually, this is really, really good. This is what I mean. Show up to Marshalls. They have original 2008 Hyperdunks, the Volt colorway retro. So these are 100 Canadian dollars, which is like 75 US. Do they have a size 12? Ooh, they have a size 12. Hmm. This is the thing, I might even need to pick these up. Yeah, these things look sick on feet. They fit perfectly, so that is great. The only problem with these is that I ended up buying, if you guys remember, like the pink pair, like bright, bright, bright solar red or whatever you want to call it. I bought those in December for a good price, like around $100, and then I never wore them and I ended up selling them for what I paid for them. But this, this Volt colorway, 
I had the 2012 Hyperdunks in this exact same colorway, and every time I wear them, I get a nosebleed. I'm not even lying, like the last 10 times I've worn them, I've had a nosebleed. I think we're gonna hit up the Nike outlet. If they don't have anything better at the Nike outlet, hopefully they have something better at the Nike outlet, then I think we'll come back here, because these for $75, that, that's a good price. All right, at the Nike outlet right now. First off, lol at the Kyrie sign. I just find that really, really funny. Uh, he's in Boston now. I've given it some time. I've mulled it over. I'll tell you guys my full thoughts about how I feel about the trade once we're out of the Nike outlet. This store is adamant about me not filming. Like, they probably have me on a watch list or something. I don't think I'm going to be able to film inside the store, unfortunately. I'll see what I could do. But I'm definitely going to go try and pick something up, and then I'll show you afterwards. I just saw a guy in the parking lot that watches my videos. He says there was a little bit of something something, but nothing too crazy. Let's see what they have. Success in the Nike LA. Wow, we got a really, really, really good price for a pair of kicks. I don't understand this store. Sometimes they're completely fine with me filming, sometimes they're not. I could have filmed today, because all the employers are like, dude, I watch your videos after you roasted my manager. Apparently they don't like the manager. Anyway, we got a pair of kicks right here. I'm very excited. I paid literally $38 for these. Insane, $38 for a pair. These are really nice as well. So, Kyrie Irving got traded. As we know, Boston Celtics, Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm a huge Celtics fan. We gave up Isaiah Thomas, which is great. I really wanted us to trade Isaiah Thomas. We gave up Jay Crowder, which sucks. I didn't really want us to give up Jay Crowder. Where on earth did I park? I hate parking lots, especially on a Saturday at a mall. Seriously, where did I park? I mean, like, obviously you're gonna have to give up a substantial amount of stuff for a superstar, but Kyrie Irving is not, in my opinion, the superstar that is going to win you rings. He's the superstar that will get you to the Eastern Conference Finals. He's the type of player that will get you to the Eastern Conference Finals every year and might get you to the Finals every other year, but he's not the player that puts you over the Golden State Warriors or in three or four years, the Minnesota Timberwolves. I don't know, like, it's, it's good that we got a better player. Maybe him and Gordon Hayward combined can attract a third ultimately awesome player like Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins, a big man, something like that. I much would have rather seen Boston trade just Isaiah Thomas and Ante Zizic and maybe throw in like a 2019 Memphis pick or something like that and get Eric Bledsoe from the Phoenix Suns. I know he's not as good as Kyrie Irving. He's not the player that Kyrie Irving is. I don't know. I am not a professional basketball general manager, so hopefully Danny Ainge knows what he is doing better than me. But let's take a look at the shoes I got for $38. Oh wow, that was $28. That is $28 for this pair of shoes. The really funny thing is that I bought these like four months ago and I sold them, which just seems to be the ongoing trend with my footwear is that I buy things for good prices, sell them for slightly higher prices, then buy them for lower prices and keep them. But I got the Air Force One High UNC Someone really tried these on. This is a fire pair of shoes. Like this pair of shoes, no hype, no Bape, no Supreme, no Nas printed on the front of it, but it is just classic, clean, very, very wearable, very, very good looking. I mean, if you have the choice between these for $28 or the Hyperdunks at Marshalls for $100, which one are you gonna choose? $28 for these. Why is the lighting so bad in my car? There we go, that is better, but yeah, look at these shoes. I've probably already showed them to you guys. I don't know if you guys have seen that one particular video, but I figured I'd go to the Nike outlet today. You guys enjoyed the Hong Kong Nike outlet so much, I thought I'd hit up my Nike outlet at home and see what we got. The prices in Hong Kong were crazy good. Like, there was Roshi Runs for $20. There was Air Maxes for like $40, $50, $60. There was just really good price on everything, but $28 for a pair of awesome, Air Force Ones that almost look like they'd be an OG pair of Air Force Ones. Which do you think is better? Go check out the Hong Kong, go watch this, I guess you're already watching this, and let me know, $28 for this or the prices at the Hong Kong Nike outlet? Which ones do you think is better? I think this is a great pair of shoes. I'm gonna keep these in my collection. For the price we got them, I'm definitely not selling them again because $28, I don't think you're going to beat it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me in everything I do. We are probably gonna be at 205,000 subscribers by the time I post this video. So if you guys are feeling real and have watched to this point in the video, make sure to comment, I feel real, down in the comment section below. And if you guys didn't know, I do have Twitter and Instagram at the Real Ray Ray 20 If you guys wanna go give me a follow over there, I do lots of dope content there as well. But I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. This thing we have going on here is amazing, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. So until then, peace.